Okay, let's move on to 1.3. It's another type of map. Please make sure that you have a highlight on hand. That's always helpful when it comes to map work. Let's quickly read the scenario. So it says, Devashni will be traveling from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth to visit her grandmother. She will use the map below to plan her journey. Okay, so here's a map. It's, it's sort of a non-traditional way of looking at a map from like a math lit perspective, but it's not outside of the syllabus. So just don't get stressed about this. Just look at it. See, here's Cape Town. She's going to Port Elizabeth. We can see that it is, here's zero kilometers where she starts and she'll have traveled 779 kilometers by the time she gets there. There's all sort of these like offshoots from the main road. But let's see what the questions ask us. Again, the questions often steer us towards what we should be thinking and how we should be answering. So it says, identify the type of map used above. So this is from your notes, right? You should be able to identify different types of map. This is a strip map, right? Or a strip chart. If you're like, what is that? Please go look at your notes again. It basically means we represent things with straight lines. There's no curves, right? We basically say the straight line distance between different places. Okay. And this is often used for like subway maps. Um, so it's not foreign completely, but it is not necessarily something that you would have seen often. Okay. So don't get stressed about that. 1.3.2 says determine in meters the actual distance, right, between Cape Town and Port Elizabeth. Again, it says in meters. So we know Cape Town here, it says zero, and by the time she gets to Port Elizabeth, it's 779 kilometers. But it didn't ask for it in kilometers, it asked for it in meters, and that's why it's a few more marks, okay? So we're gonna say 1.3.2, we're gonna say 779, but we wanna make it meters. There is a thousand meters in one kilometer, so we're gonna times this by a thousand, right? And that will give us the number of meters, right? So we're going to say 779 times 1000, and it's going to be 779000 meters. Please remember your unit of measurement because it actually means something, right? It doesn't, it's not just 779000 nothings, right? It's actually meters. Okay, so that's your answer there. Then it says, along the route, Devashni will visit a friend in Otsuren. At, at Riversdale, she will take a, do to, a detour via the R323 to Otsuren. Okay, let's firstly see what that means because we're like, okay, she's taking detours, what's going on? So we know she's traveling, she's traveling from here to Riversdale, right? So she travels to Riversdale. Then she's going to take a detour and go to O2 in this way. I'm not sure why she doesn't just go off at George, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. So that's how she's gonna go, right? So it says, name the town she will pass when traveling from Riversdale to O2 in. So she's going to pass, I'm gonna say Ladysmith and Kaletsdorp. I can't read that so nicely, but I think that says Kaletsdorp before she gets to O2 in, right? So the two towns are Ladysmith. So I'm gonna say 1.3.3. It's going to be Lady Smith, right? And Kaletsdorp. Okay, right? It's important to put both because even in the question it says the towns. So it's not only wanting one, it's wanting both. Okay, so that was A. Let's now look at B. So it says calculate the total distance she will travel from Riversdale to Otsuren. Now you might be thinking, how on earth do I do that? But what we know about these type of maps, these strip maps, is it actually gives you the distance on the lines. So you can see here, it's 82 from Riversdale to Ladysmith, 45 from Ladysmith to Kaletsdorp, and 53 from Kaletsdorp to Otsuren. Right? So we're going to add all of those together. So we're going to say 82 plus 45 plus 53, right? And we're going to put that into our calculator to get the total number of kilometers, right? So it's 82 plus 45 plus 53. So that gives us 180 kilometers. They didn't say whether they wanted it in kilometers or meters, so I'm going to leave it in kilometers, right? But the total distance would be 180 kilometers. Please remember your measurement, right? Your units of measurement, and that would be the distance from Riversdale to Otoro. Okay, so that's that question done. It wasn't a, a very easy question, but was still accessible, right? The biggest thing is you need to know how to read this map. Okay, let's now move on to question two.